For 38 years, Greg Gayton has worked as a certified nursery professional at Green Acres. This has a light on it too. So. In his words. I am a plant nerd, a plant geek. He's also a plant's best publicist. Technology is king here. I do three Instagrams for the company. We've been there five minutes when he hit producer Ellie up for a pic because, you know, he needed to post. Uh, landscape is best. Of course, landscape mode is best to show gardeners the grass really is greener on the other side of the fence. Oh, that's really neat. But your side can look pretty good, too, if you mulch with media. It used to be so boring. People bringing their Sunset West and wearing, well, you have this and you have this, you know. <laughs> Now they're finding seeds of inspiration on sites like House and Instagram, and they're pinning the heck out of all things flora and fauna. And it's so funny to see like a 70 year old couple doing a selfie and posting on Instagram. And I go up to them, I dig green acres, please repost that on ours. We found some great pictures. Amy Geyer's garden needs Wi-Fi more than water these days. We went to Facebook and we found even a great idea for how to plant herbs and spices. Here's her inspiration picture, and here's what she and her husband Paul created. And so we built this great um, vertical garden based on a friend's Facebook post. Now, she and baby Will are looking for a little zen garden. If you guys are going to like entertain outside, to bring her next pin to life. And that's exactly what I'm going for. The only problem with falling in love with something on a Pinterest page is that sometimes you see something that just won't grow where you live. But don't worry. Ready to plant? So you keep on by logging on. And I'll put this one here. And maybe someday someone else will have some garden envy and pin you. That would be amazing. That would be absolutely amazing. <laughs>